So there's always been an interaction between geometry and algebra from the beginning, from the dawn of mathematics. So uh, of course, uh, a one homotopy or what we now call motylic homotopy is uh, exactly, uh, so say, engraved in, in this tradition. And um, so personally, I remember uh, during my PhD under the supervision of uh, Fabien Morel, he, he was, uh, he was uh, often speak about uh, speaking about uh, uh, um, surgery theory and how we should uh, transport that in uh, in he one homotopy uh, uh, then 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 uh, the, the discussion has, it was during the time where he was uh, writing algebraic cobordism with with mark levin by the way and then after that uh, so I, I i wasn't there anymore but he, he, he continues his discussion with uh, aravin azok and uh, um, and then Aravin uh, uh, went went on with a, a, a more specific question um, to to define homotopy at infinity as a toolbox for surgery theory and more generally differential geometry. Uh, transporting so the question was transporting homotopy at infinity in uh, in motivic setting. So just just recall uh, uh, this this this. This can be to give, to give you a sense of what's homotopy at infinity. So I, I should recall that Whitehead, when, when he, he tried to prove the Poincare conjecture uh, for uh, uh, three varieties, uh, fall on the, the, the counter example of a, of a contractible open manifold, free, free, free manifold, which is, uh, uh, which is not homeomorphic to R3. So it's the so called Whitehead manifold W3, which and the, the, the explanation is that this, this manifold is contractible but not simply connected at infinity, whereas R3 is uh, uh, simply connected at infinity. Okay, but uh, from from my perspective, maybe I, I, I have a different picture in mind. Um, so let me write this. As I said, differential geometry is linked through algebraic topology, a more recent introduction to algebra or algebraic geometry, is it more recent? So uh, for me today, I just want to emphasize the, the, the link uh, through singularity theory. So there are two branches here. First, there is the, the, the Mumford studies of the topology of uh, uh, normal surface singularities, surface singularities. So this is mean for around 60s. And on the other hand, uh, slightly later, but not so much, there is a intersection homology. Let me, which is uh, from Gorski. Um, McPherson. Okay, and so these subjects have, have evolved, of course. Uh, and so let me just uh, hide things, but these, these are link and uh, maybe the so called plumbing, Mumford plumbing. So we'll, we'll, we'll go into, I'll describe this slightly in, during the talk. And uh, it Tends, so there, there are also many more influences, but to me it ends to this book of uh, Hughes and Haniki, Hands of Complexes, which is a kind of sum, summary of, of many years of research. So, Hughes and Haniki. And on the other hand, of course, we have, let me uh, 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 summarize everything with uh, perverse sheaves which is a lot of, uh, of things. And here I, I, I want to end with uh, so-called boundary motifs, boundary motifs of defined by your Wildershaus even more recently than. Okay, so the question for today is, can we link these two? things through stable A1 homotopy, stable motivic homotopy. 
Okay. Um, do I have... Okay, so uh, uh, I think so with with Polarno and Adria, we we found a, a pretty good answer. So let me let me give a plan. So I'll give you a tentative answer in the first, and uh, maybe maybe I should maybe. Uh, secondly, so in, in one, I will of course define and, and give you the first uh, computation. Then, then there is a tool which is very important in this story. It's duality and a fundamental class of a di diagonal. And then I'll go through, a, 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 of course, a, almost a necessary to, tool in these things, which is compactifications. And let me say with NCD normal crossing boundary. And in the end, maybe I put this here. I will go uh, to Mumford plumbing. As we call this Mumford plumber again, I I could call this uh, motivic Mumford plumber again, but we'll see. Okay. No more. No question for the moment. Okay. So let's let's start with one. So I just want to recall, of course, I, 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 in, in all this, Vyvesky's name is, is everywhere. So one of the originality of Vyvesky is to have introduced in the motivic setting uh, the so-called homological motives. So let me recall Vyvesky. Homological motives. So it was uh, the source of, at the beginning, it was a huge source of confusion because people were, were really uh, used to, to work with char motives, which, which are traditionally cohomological. But anyway, so this is like this. Uh, let's say in DM. So this functor is covariant. And now we, we know how to interpret this. Uh, the fact is that this M of X corresponds to the singular complex in topology, which is say, if you look at uh, topo topology called at, at varieties of a C or of the characteristic zero fields with an embedding in C, then this is the, the M of X is really the analog of uh, the C star, singular, singular star. Of X. And by the way, uh, this just for a recall, this M of X is obtained as a Suslin complex of shift with transfers on X. So it's really, really close. And Suslin complex computes uh, Suslin homology if you take sec homology at a point. Okay, but also they just introduce motif with compact support, which is motif with compact support which is not a, a very good terminology. So X MC of X. So it, it's only covariant with respect to proper and contravariant with respect to etal. But maybe the best explanation is that this object computes a cohomology with compact support. So it means that if you compute this, uh, this gives you motivic cohomology HP N with compact support. So it's better to say that this MC of X is dual to, to uh, cohomology with compact support. And, and actually it's closer to uh, uh, singular, chain, singular chain complex with locally finite coefficient, as we will see. Okay, so that's for the introduction. And now after the development, Again, with uh, under the, the, the first impulsion of Vygotsky, we now have this, this so-called six functors formalism that I will use here, say for SH. 
So there is this, this, this variation of theory uh, on how to, to define a quaternic six functors formalism on so-called motivic category, motivic infinity category, if you want. So in, in all my talk, I use SH, and we know that SH is the initial one, initial such coefficients. But actually, all our arguments work for any uh, uh, motivic category. So you can work with motives. You can work with MGL modules or all the modules. You can also work with uh, eladic etal sheaves, classical eladic etal sheaves. For Hodge structure, it's almost done, not completely, but there is a, a, a good formalism written by Bradley Drew. <clears throat> okay, anyway, let's, let's work with SH. And, and so we can define easily the analog of this, uh, of this motive and motive with compact support. So let's take x f from x to s. s is any base, and f is, you just need that it's separated of finite type. And actually, you, can, you could eventually bypass this by using uh, descent, <clears throat> but OK. And uh, um, then you can define the homotopy, the uh, uh, stable homotopy of x over s as f lower shriek, f upper shriek of, say, constant objects. This is OK. And if you want to define the object with compact support, which is maybe mm, should be called with a, closer to a borel moore object. So let's write this just to, to use Wojewski's notation. This will just be f lower star f upper shriek of one s. Okay, so uh, comment about borel moore So f upper shriek of a constant object, if s was a spectrum of a field, f upper shriek of one is just the, the dualizing complex. Uh, and so when you apply f lower star, you, re you reduce to compute cohomology. So this is closer to something which computes, uh, uh, to a complex which computes, computes borel moore uh, homology in the sense of borel moore okay. Uh, anyway, using just the six functor formalism, you know that there's a map from uh, there exists a natural transformation from f lower shriek to f lower star. So in particular, you get a map that I will just write alpha x from the relative homotopy type of x over s to the one with compact support. Okay. And then the definition is, is very simple. Uh, I wish I could use the same blackboard, but sorry. <clears throat> we will define the stable homotopy type at infinity as the homotopy fiber of the map alpha. So maybe I should have recalled that uh, if x over s is smooth, then this object is just the infinite suspension of x with base point added. And if x over s is proper and smooth, then this is also the same thing as so as you see, if, if in this definition x over s is proper, then uh, alpha of x is an isomorphism, and then uh, there's no homotopy at infinity. So that's the first simple computation. But let me, uh, let me emphasize more, more uh, interesting ones. So let's consider uh, the affine space, a n of s. Then in this case, uh, It's an exercise in, in, in six functor formalism. We can compute this, uh, this map alpha. Let's. So, because AN is A1 contractible, this is just a constant object. And here, so let me write this, let, let this in as an exercise. Then you get, uh, it's, it depends on N on the contrary, and this is one twist n, shift to n. This is a Tom space of a n. OK. The map here, uh, if, if uh, 
say if s is small, if s is something like a field, if s is a field, or or even you can take a smooth semi-local okay, algebra. Then this map, uh, this is zero. Actually, well, we'll see. Uh, actually, it's always zero. But and then in this case, what we get is that uh, 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 the map is zero. So uh, actually, uh, the homotopy fiber will be a, a direct sum. So in this case, pi n pi infinity of a n is just one s, and there's a shift on s n to n minus one. In other words, this is the homotopy stable homotopy type of a sphere of a n minus zero. And so this is exactly like in topology uh, uh, where, and, and in particular for n, it, uh, you see when n goes bigger, this uh, uh, um, homotopy at infinity becomes more and more n connected. Okay, so that's already a good sign. Uh, now let's look uh, and let's let's try to see what's the link with uh, what I said uh, between. Uh, so let's let's first look at S is spec C or fields with an embedding in C, and we look at the topological realization or topology. Then in this case, as I said, so you can, to see that you can go through motives if you want. That this just goes to singular homology of complex points and um, the pi c of x so uh, it goes yeah, to, but to the suspension spectrum right what i mean you don't have c star on the right you have suspension spectrum it is not right. linear yeah, yeah i mean this is not linear right okay 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 so it's uh, something like h of this no no Mm -hmm. I mean, your starts is from the stable homotopy category, not from the DM. Yes, something like that. That would be better. It's a singular. Why? I mean, it should be just the suspension spectrum of this topological space. Ah, that's right. So maybe. I you have single stuff if you go here yeah, to. I use this, the Dolcan. Now it's okay. Yeah. Because, yeah, that's right. Uh, okay. It's a good one, Mark. So if we can refine, so I can refine this picture, sorry, but, but uh, for what I prepared, it's better to do that. Okay, so let's go like this. And in this case, the, the object with compact support goes to a locally finite single chain complex. So a priori, what you get is that it goes to the Boyle-Moore object, but then because uh, I think X is, uh, XC is, uh, has good property, sigma compact and so, so on, maybe locally contractible. So it, it corresponds to this uh, locally finite singular chain complex. So in particular, what you see is that pi infinity of x goes to the, 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 the homotopy fiber of a uh, natural map from C star to C star LF. And, and this is what uh, uh, Hughes and Ranicki define as the singular chain computing homology at, at infinity, singular homology at infinity. But that's right. But we can we can re actually refine this picture and goes to a stable stable homotopical case. But they did not consider this this case. So this is used. What is what is star singular? What? What is the star singular? It's the uh, so it's on delta star top continuous with respect with, with values in the topological space. Associated ah, you mean with. just the usual. <laughs> okay. That's it. Not Susli, not just the usual singular chain complex. 
And for this definition of, of a locally finite thing, so you can imagine what, what it is, but it's uh, really well defined in this book of Hughes and Ranick. Okay, so, so it looks like we have a half of, uh, <coughs> of what we wanted. Now we look at, uh, uh, at motives. So let me recall that there is if you, you can go from stable homotopy to DM. So there is there are several flavors to do that, but you can, maybe I'll, 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 I want to take lambda is just to be safe. One over P algebra and what's P? S is a scheme over field K and P is just the exponential characteristic of P, which means so if K is of characteristic zero, then P is, will just be one, and otherwise it's a usual characteristic. Okay. Uh, so we have this this functor, which, as you know, just had transfers from the now well-known perspective. Had transfers, but um, so I don't know. Maybe. We, we should, so usually we write this gamma upper star because it's induced in the end by the, the graph functor from, from smooth schemes to smooth schemes with correspondences. But let me write this M for, for today. Then what we get is that this, this functor, so I use this, this assumption because M is known to now to uh, commute with the six operations. If you restrict so to uh, uh, schemes, say to be safe schemes which are of finite type over k, but you can extend slightly. <clears throat> uh, 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 and this means directly that uh, 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 m of pi s x will just be what the, the motive, various key motive of x over s and m of pi c of x will be MSC of X. So of course, these, these, these uh, motives, these various keys motives were defined first for over a field. And then there's a model with correspondences. So this is just correspondences and these are um, quasi-finite correspondences, say. <coughs> um, but over, over base, we just use the six functors formalism. And this is why we just have the same notation. And then uh, in this case, what we get is that uh, the motive of pi s infinity of x is exactly by definition the boundary motive of x defined by Wildershaus. Uh, in, so first definition maybe it was at the beginning uh, in, in, in 2000s or something like that. In particular, so uh, uh, this means uh, this boundary motive is interesting from the point of view of a motivic Langlands program because uh, it gives you it does not exactly compute the so the so-called interior cohomology, but it's it's really close to the interior cohomology. And I just recall that the interior cohomology of Shimura varieties was used to build to associate some uh, 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 automorphic representations, uh, 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 Galois representation. And then we'll just have to extend this, uh, this, uh, this works to really define a motive to some automorphic representation. Not all, but a lot now. Okay, so, uh, uh, and so the, the simple definition that we have found is, is really making what we wanted. So it, it gives the bridge between uh, Hughes Ranicki uh, uh, considerations and uh, the one from Shimura varieties and motives. So let but let me lastly uh, under underline a, 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 a difference what what you get by working in in stable homotopy. So let's consider X now. Uh, and, uh, suppose that X is just a, 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 a vector bundle. Then in this case, we can refine what I, what I 
did earlier, S of V. And again, this will be the time space of V. This will just be constant object because V is contractible. And this map here is the motivic hurler class, motivic. Or I don't know. Well, the, the name motivic is not well chosen, but uh, I don't know. the earlier class uh, defined in homotopical terms. So this is the extended definition that we found with uh, uh, I can and and Fang Zhu Jin when we when we uh, introduce fundamental classes in in general. And so what's interesting here is that uh, we know for sure that, uh, so this earlier class, if we were, were looking at this motivically, uh, it's the usual error class of so a top churn class of V. And, and if we look in a, in a more refined setting, like, uh, 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 I don't know, the Milnovit motives or things like that, this is really the earlier class in the Chovit groups. And we know that the earlier class in, uh, and in general, it's just in, in homotopy. We know that the earlier class is finer than in, in Chovit than in Chow groups. And in particular, it, it, the, the, the top trend class can vanish, whereas the earlier class does not vanish. So uh, uh, if the earlier class vanish, it means that the, the homotopy type at infinity will, will just, in some sense, be a direct sum. So it, it will split, this map will split. And if it does not, it means that the pi infinity is a non-trivial extension of uh, one by, by Tom space minus one, shifted minus one. So this, this, it's, it's, uh, this refinement in stable homotopy is already, as you see, finer than the, the motivic uh, boundary motif. Okay, any questions? Okay, so I hope I convinced you of the interest of this definition. Now I'll try to indicate two, two methods, uh, uh, which uh, in order to compute the, the homotopy, the stable homotopy type at infinity, it's really stable. And, and first one is this uh, uh, play with duality and the fundamental class. So <clears throat> let me recall again, uh, uh, the definition that we, the construction what we did with uh, uh, Adil and, and uh, Fang Zhu of a fundamental class in homotopy, fundamental class of say we, I will take F from X to S and R LCI, local complete intersection morphism, which is a new fable. So it means that F can be factorized in, into a closed immersion and, and then a smooth morphism, for example, quasi projective in the sense of our form. <clears throat> and, and okay, LCI means that the immersion, the closed immersion is in fact regular. In this case, you know that you can define LF cotangent complex. And the fundamental class, which is just an abstraction in the, uh, a realize, uh, an abstraction in the six functor formalism of a classical class of a uh, fundamental class of a closed subscheme. And then in cobordism, you have also the class of a protective map. <clears throat> smooth projective map. So it's just for me today, it will just be a natural transformation from the Tom space of LF tensor F upper star, which goes to F upper shriek. Okay. And actually, so it's uh, uniquely determined this in a suitable sense. It's determined, say, by a class in the usual sense, at, at F, which go, which belongs into this bivariant homotopy of X relative to S with twist LF. It's just to recall. Okay. <clears throat> 
So there is a, a, a preliminary definition between I state the, the, the first computation, and, and it's it's a kind of development. So this this, uh, this is a development around the notion of absolute purity, which is really central in uh, in the etal setting, and then was extended to the motivic setting. So I, I, we will say that F is H smooth or homotopically smooth if uh, in in uh, in SH under uh, which is intended if the map uh, eta f evaluated at the constant object one so it goes from tom of f to f of a ship of one is an isomorphism so a stable homotopy works. Okay, so this notion, so this notion almost uh, appeared in the in the paper with uh, Fangzhi and Adil, but not not uh, not like this, uh, not stated like this. So I think it's uh, it's nice to have this in mind because so examples are, uh, of course, F smooth in the usual sense implies H smooth. Uh, what you have is also if y is a closed immersion between schemes which are smooth for some base. Then i is h smooth, which is Counterintuitive. On the other hand, there are closed dimensions which are not H smooth. So if you look at uh, uh, the a normal crossing divisor in A2, so x equals zero union y equals zero in A2, then uh, this i i is not H smooth, and this can be. Explicitly, explicitly proved. So, <clears throat> the, this corresponds to certain uh, uh, certain way of seeing singularities. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, first theorem is like that. Like that. So, let let's take x over. Uh, maybe it was not clear in my definition, but uh, 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 H smooth imply LCI and smoothable. Smoothable, you can, you may maybe avoid it, but it's not clear at the moment. But LCI is important. Anyway, so let's take X over S and H smooth morphism. <clears throat> Then uh, uh, the map eta f induces a canonical isomorphism, which is a kind of weak duality. So let me write this eta prime f from the internal arm of uh, uh, homotopy of x. So there is a twist, so I should define this. I will do this. Minus LF with coefficient one, and the map goes to compact linear geometry type with compact support. Uh, so I define this here if X uh, over S is any separated or finite type. Well, usually I take the let me take k a perfect complex. Z 
n over over x, right? Or it, it usually it's a virtual vector bundle over x, but it works with and, and I, as I took the, the cotangent complex, it's really this object. And then I define by s x twisted by this. K as uh, f lower shriek, the term space of k tensor f upper shriek of one. Okay. <clears throat> okay. So it's you see it's it's important that uh, uh, k is above x and and this is why it's just it's not it's not just a, a term space in general it's more like uh, so re, uh, a kind of homology but twisted okay so first assertion is that uh, uh, if x over s is h smooth then the map eta f induces such an isomorphism and then which what what's more in, important for us is that if you look at the composite so recall that we want to compute this uh, uh, homotopy type at infinity several homotopy type at infinity so we we should look at the map alpha x which is the natural map from homotopy to homotopy with compact support then we use this isomorphism and it's isomorphic to the internal on f equation one so the, cor the composite corresponds to by duality by uh, adjunction to alpha prime x which goes to by s of x uh, tensor or wedge or smash product. Let me write such. And it goes to one. And then uh, uh, alpha prime x fits into the following diagram. Uh, for this, I have to assume that f is smooth. So, not H smooth and fits into the commutative diagram. So here we have this map alpha prime X above. So this is where I use that uh, uh, F is smooth. There is a kind of, there is a QNET isomorphism and this is by S X cross S X. Uh, and here we have take the projection to a first, first factor and take the pullback. And what you get here is this like this. Uh, Sorry. Ah, well, it goes in view. Yeah, the, the map goes in this direction. So we really want to compute alpha prime x, which allows you to compute alpha x. So here you just have a projection by say f, the map from x west. And what you get here is a busy map associated to a diagonal. Okay, so uh, uh, so this this theorem tells you. Um, I'm sorry. Tells you that in some sense alpha x can be computed as uh, uh, the class of uh, the, 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 the fundamental class of a diagonal fundamental class in the stable homotopical sense of 
diagonal delta from x to x cross sx, which is LCI on, on the, because x is smooth, x over s is smooth. And this means, so it's something like this. So I write this. And it belongs to, maybe I should have written this pi zero zero or maybe with homological notation, it's better. X cross X. And with this twist, P1 epistor LF, uh, which is just uh, actually same thing as a normal bundle of delta. Can you go to the previous blackboard for a second? Yeah. Yeah, the, this Gizen map is just kind of collapse of the complement of the diagonal, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. So this is the Gizin maps uh, associated with this fundamental class uh, uh, um, with respect to delta, which is LCI, and, and uh, of course, movable because X is smooth. Mm -hmm. okay. OK. So of course, we, and then uh, if you look, if we have looked at the motive at infinity, then we would get the, mem the same results and, uh, and, and more classical terms. It means that the map alpha of x, which, which comp essentially computes the homotopy type at infinity here, uh, uh, can be uh, uh, computed as a fundamental class of a diagonal. But uh, uh, you, should, you should remember that in this case, we, we really want to consider uh, open varieties. And, and in all the literature, fundamental class of a diagonal is, is Huge, hugely uh, studied, for example, for Chaukunet decomposition, but only in the smooth projective case. In the smooth case, in the open case, it's much more difficult to compute this, uh, this, this class. Okay, but anyway, this is an, uh, just a nice, uh, <coughs> a nice setting. So, idea, idea of a proof. Actually, so the proof is not really difficult now. It, it's just a, a matter of, of, of stating. With, uh, it's, it's again, I should say, an exercise in infinity in, in, in the six-functor formalism. Once you have a, a, the notion of a fundamental class. So it's really a way of, of putting things together. There's no, there's no uh, huge, uh, huge theorem behind this, except the construction of these fundamental classes that, that existed before. So maybe I want to give you a, an example uh, where, where we can say we can relate this with with duality maybe, and it will give me the, the transition to the next part. So. Uh, before stating the, the example, I want to give you a definition uh, about uh, normal crossings. So in general, there are, there are several ways to see normal crossing divisors and so on. So here is a kind of, uh, is a kind of universal way. So if we take X over S, uh, say finite type, but it's not really important scheme. And uh, uh, we look at x s where we, we look at x r i the irreducible component of x. Then, so this definition is uh, is uh, uh, inspired by by over definition of uh, of uh, color. So let me introduce some notation. If j is a subset of of i, I just put x j to be the intersection from j in j of x j. So, or I should say intersection means fiber product over x. So this has a, a canonical scheme structure. And I write x prime j for the reduced scheme. 
Okay, and then I will say that X has smooth crossings or is a smooth crossing scheme of S if for all J and MT X prime J over S is smooth. You can vary this definition. You can take regular, regular here, edge smooth if you want, and so on. Uh, so to to that. Okay. To to make the link with the cl more classical notion. So assume that X is embedded in say omega, or uh, yeah, okay, let's see, and omega of s is smooth, just smooth. Usually it will be smooth and proper, but then we say that uh, x is a normal crossing device or a normal crossing, yeah, normal crossing device or oops, if in addition to be a smooth crossing, Relative to S, sorry, if in addition to the smooth crossing over S, we have the following uh, equality of co dimension for J non empty, the co dimension in omega of XJ is the sum J of the co dimension in omega of. XJ. Okay, so it means that you have divisors. I mean, X is a union of divisors, and each divisor intersects properly. Uh, uh, note that I, I use this this uh, this reduction. So it means that the intersection can have uh, multiplicities, geometric multiplicities. So it's not a simple. Uh, a crossing device, simple normal crossing device. Okay, so I have an example, but uh, I just want to an example where <clears throat> we, we, with respect to this theorem. So assume that X bar S is smooth and proper, and let's let's take D or actually you can check. Take just C inside X bar. Uh, let me let me even take notation like boundary of X. You take a closed normal crossing. So okay, closed sub scheme such that uh, this is a, a smooth, it, it admits smooth crossings over S, okay? Then in this case, uh, uh, not only you have, uh, uh, so of course X over S is smooth in this case, uh, so it's, it's more than H smooth, but in this case by, let me write X complement, sorry. And in this case, the homotopy type of X is, in fact, it's 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 rigid. So it means it ad, it admits a, a strong dual, and the, the theorem, the above theorem, computes the, the, the dual with dual. So if you write this correctly, this is pi C S of X, and I should have defined this. Here you have to put a twist. Actually, you can put twist if you want. Okay, so uh, uh, this this uh, this assertion. So it's a complement with respect to this theorem. So it means that in this theorem, not only we have this isomorphism between the internal on with pi of c, but even we have that this this uh, object here is rigid is rigid with dual this object here, which is stronger. And, and this, this assertion is an analog of results of Voivodsky that he obtained for motives 
over fields using resolution of singularities. Of course, if you consider the, the complement in a smooth proper scheme of a closed sub scheme, uh, it's not always rigid. For example, you can take a, a x bar equal to s, and if you take a, a, a non trivial closed sub scheme of s, the complement of, of, uh, of z in s will not be rigid. But uh, in, in some particular cases, like this one, uh, you can prove this. So you can prove this rigidity by, by uh, using the fact that uh, the, the, the homotopy type of x bar over s is rigid with explicit dual. Uh, uh, and then you, you use an induction with, with respect to the branches of, of partial of X. But uh, actually, I will, I will also give a, a hint about how to prove this more directly. Any questions? So just a comment, this, this theorem is, is a nice abstract result. So for the moment, we have not yet uh, uh, succeed to compute the uh, fundamental class uh, of the diagonal for open varieties. But on the other hand, it's the other way, way around. We, so for, I, I hope I will have time to, yes, to show you computation of homotopy, stable homotopy type at infinity. And in the other, on, in the other way, this, this computation actually computes the, the fundamental class of a diagonal for these particular cases. So it goes in the other way for the moment. OK. So let's get back now to the third part. So this is the use of the use of compactification. <clears throat> so the, the basic the basic fact, how, why why homotopy tight infinity or boundary motifs is uh, is related to compactification. So, of course, because there is a, this homotopy type, type with compact support, which enter into play, but there is a more uh, 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 um, a, a more simple way, that diagrammatic way to, to understand this. So let me state a proposition, which is actually easy. So let's take X over S in our general assumption. It's just separated a fine type. And then because it's separated, it admits a compactification. So we can factorize this as an open immersion into x bar of s such that j open immersion and p is proper. So by definition, almost by definition of being separated of finite type, I, I, actually it's a theorem of Deling, uh, you have a compactification. Then in this case, there exists uh, the following commutative diagram. Commutative diagram. So we want to compute a canonical map for X that I introduced at the beginning of the talk. And the homotopy fiber of this map is by infinity. So if you put this as a homotopy cofiber, because we are in the homotopy uh, category, you get a, a homotopy exact sequence or exact or distinguished triangle, if you prefer. Then what you do is just if I put this, and I can use the compactification x bar. Uh, so the homotopy type with or without compact support is the same thing. So we'll have a natural map here, which is just the, the pullback along J. So here we have J lower star. So now I recall I I I, I made a I, I made a mistake. I said I said. Uh, no, okay, it's just J lower star because the, the homotopy type is covariant. And what you have here is what you usually call, it's just the homotopy cofiber, and this is usually denoted like this. So it's it's the stable homotopy type of X bar modulo X, it can be computed in, in 
shift theoretic term if x were x and x bar was smooth. Okay. And here, what you want to put is let me write partial x being the boundary. And I can just take the, redu the reduced uh, version. So here I can just take the homotopy type of a boundary and using the covariance, I can put this. Let me write complete this like that. So that uh, here, there, this is the canonical projection. And so I have a map here, well defined. I will call this beta of x. Here, if I want exact uh, homotopy, exact sequence, I will put zero. And then you will immediately recognize an octahedron in a planner octahedron, say, and, and you get a, a, a commutative diagram like this. So in other words, you can compute the, the, the homotopy type at infinity as the homotopy fiber of this map, which goes from the homotopy type of a boundary to the homotopy type of uh, this quotient, which can be also written like this, x bar modulo x bar minus a boundary. Okay. So the proof is very easy. Maybe I, I will pass this. Uh, in some sense, it's just the octahedron which, which tells you this that uh, in this case. And you just have to prove that alpha of x is the composition of J upper star, J lower star. And this is just, just again, a, a, a play between adjunction and the six of formalism. OK. So maybe I should add. Any questions? Maybe I should add that uh, uh, a remark or remark. Yeah. Yeah, just a small question for this. So if uh, everything is smooth, uh, then this says that the homotopy type at infinity is yeah. Given by the map from Z, I mean, from this delta X to, to the form space. Right? Absolutely, absolutely. And you recover, so uh, uh, you recover uh, the case that I treated with when, when I add a, a, a vector bundle V. Because if you have a vector bundle V, then there's an obvious compactification, take the projective completion, and you get the usual. Uh, so you, you get back using this beta of X, you get back the. the, the the assertion, the first exa the example that I gave for vector boundary. Yeah. So in general, if f if a boundary is smooth, then then you have an, uh, a, a complete computation like this for this. Uh, yeah, so this is again the uh, the homotopy fiber of the Euler kind of Euler. Class, exactly, right? absolutely. You are exactly absolutely. Okay. And so it's it's uh, it's split if your Euler class vanish and so on. So what's Okay, so just a remark uh, uh, about uh, about how to interpret this this uh, this diagram. You can try to uh, to do this. There's another way of, of doing this. You have to maybe a hint. You have to uh, cross the the localization triangle or homotopy exact sequence. Which are of two ways. First, you have J low shrink, J upper star one. So I already, I is the dimension. This goes I is the upper star. And here you want to look at V of a triangle. J lower star, J upper star. So if you try to compute to complete this diagram, then you will you will uh, and you have to project at some point also to use the projection from X bar to S. 
but you will you will get you will find a, a, a functorial analog of this diagram and it tells you that uh, uh, the homotopy type at infinity of x over s can be computed in terms of the six functors as uh, so I write x x bar j f j here then this will be something like j lower star i upper star j lower star f upper shriek there's a shift minus one because it's the homotopy fiber so in particular what you recognize here is an approximation so it's it's uh, uh, close to the nearby cycle <clears throat> so uh, uh, the computation of pi infinity from this point of view is is very close to the computation of a, of a nearby cycles for example you, the, 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 the formula that I will uh, uh, state in a minute is is very close to rapporting computation of nearby cycles Okay, maybe I pass the slide too, too fast. Okay. Yeah. So um, uh, let me write. We have another way to compute this by infinity as the homotopy fiber of a canonical map. boundary to this quotient. So of course, in general, the boundary will be uh, uh, singular. Um, of course, you know, for example, there is a, a first basic result, but if x of a, over field is smooth or characteristic zero field is smooth, then it, it, it always admits by Heironaka by resolution of singularities, it always admits a compactification, a smooth proper compactification, projective even, well, it depends, uh, such that the, the, the boundary is a, is a normal crossing divisor. So that's the, that's the case that I want to address now. So a theorem, is, which is the most important theorem for computation is like that. Suppose we are in this situation. So X over S is smooth and it admits a compactification, which is, so you just need proper smooth. In the application, it will be always projective, such that the boundary even reduced coefficients, so say, is a normal crossing divisor. Not simple, just normal crossing divisor, as I define relative to S, as I defined before. Then uh, uh, we have a, a nice way to compute this homotopy at infinity is again as a homotopy fiber of a following map. Uh, so it's slightly complicated to write uh, 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 rigorously, but it, it goes like this. So you take the co-limit over the category delta of ordered finite sets with only injective morphisms as, uh, uh, as uh, morphisms. So this corresponds to what people call sometimes semi-simplicial sets. Okay. And so here I will, in some sense, consider a semi-simplicial object in the stable homotopy category. So co-limit means maybe I should say homotopy co-limit or co-limit in the infinity categorical sense. So I take the sum over the J inside I said that such that the cardinal of J is N plus one. So it's non empty. And I will take the homotopy type of this intersection. So let me, uh, okay. So I should have started by notations, but uh, I will end up like, like this. And there's a map here, which uh, goes to the homotopy limit. So it's something dual, same thing you take n in delta inch. 
but covariantly, and you have a co semi simplicial object, which is the sum over the same thing. J. Let's let's write. It's better maybe to write k for you. So k inside my index i. So okay. Kind of k is n plus one. Uh, here I have the homotopy type of partial k of x, and there's a twist here by n k, which is a normal bundle. I will introduce notation. So uh, partial x, as I said, is a normal crossing divisor. So it's a union of partial i x. As again, I, I write partial j x as the intersection. Take the reduced thing. Things also, uh, and then I, I, N J is the normal bundle of the immersion of the J intersection in X bar. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so it's it's maybe more understandable. So. Uh, it, it's, it's easier to grasp this thing uh, 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 with a picture that I will draw later. But let me say first that, of course, what, 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 what the idea of a proof is that you first compute uh, this, this homotopy type of a normal crossing divisor and what you form is here. And then you compute this, this quotient here. And it's a kind, this, this result is a kind of a, of a Refine purity, moral Vyvesky purity statement. But uh, okay, so that's for the idea of a theorem. I have a proof. I will give more, more in afterwards. Uh, but let me picture what what are these co-limits. So in particular, I want to pre to make precise what are the transitions map in the co-limit and homotopy limit. So uh, you first start. So if you take n equals zero, uh, you will look at only uh, uh, elements of i, and you first start with this object here. So we have the homotopy type of some smooth scheme here. And if we want to go to the first stage of the uh, of, uh, of co-limit, which is on the left, then here you take y1 less than y2 in i. Uh, 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 why? Sorry. Uh, uh, and you take the intersection y1, y2 of x. Okay. And you have two map here. So partial y1, y2 is the intersection of partial y1 of x and partial y2. So you first have the, the you can look at the immersion of the intersection into the y1 component. And by just using covariant for uh, functoriality of, of uh, homotopy types, you have a map like this. And you have another map here, y1, y2. But here you, you go into the second. Uh, and then this go on. So in, in the second stage, we will, you will take uh, uh, three indexes and so on. And you have a, a semi simplicial map like this. Uh, here we have a very interesting map that I will write on you. I will go on the left, you have a kind of a just check thing for the cover bar. Absolutely. So you, you anticipated already the, 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 the proof. Okay. And on, on the right hand side, you have just the dual of this, uh, this uh, diagram, and this is why it's a limit. So, same thing here. Take chain i of by s partial j x and the, we have this twist by n j and here you take j1 strictly less than j2 by s j1 j2 of x and j1 j2 
And here, what you have are the Gizin maps. So, y1, y2. So, let me write a shriek. Because of course, so everything is smooth. So you have you have these maps associated with regular closed immersion, and the twists are correct, and this goes on. So in some sense, the homotopy type at infinity, in the case of, an, of a compact fusion with normal crossing divisor, can be computed as this uh, by this diagram. Here you have a kind of complexes that you glue uh, homological complexes in some sense that you glue by this map mu uh, uh, with uh, 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 cohomological complexes, which is actually dual in certain sense of this one here. So this mu is actually, so you, you see you get from two, you go from a direct sum to another direct sum. So it's a square matrix and it's given by these maps. So you take new j upper shriek to i lower star for yj in square. So this time new i is just the immersion of this component in x. Okay. okay, so let me give you more hints of the proof. First, uh, what you prove is that by S partial X is actually equal to the, the co-limit of uh, N of this sum, blah, 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 which is the, uh, <clears throat> and so what you, 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 you get here, it's the, you, you prove this as actually, so it's a, a refined CDH descent. So let, let me explain this. So when you have this uh, partial X here, it admits a close cover by all the partial I X just by definition. So a close cover is, in part is a particular case of a CDH cover. And so what we know abstractly is that we have CDH descent in any uh, motivic in any motivic infinity category. So in particular in SH, this is a consequence of a localization. And, and so in particular, we know that uh, uh, we can compute uh, uh, the, the, the homotopy type of partial X as the, as the Chech by, by looking at the Chech hypercover uh, associated with this cover. But uh, uh, this, this will not give you uh, this co-limit because in particular, you see that this co-limit is bounded. So what you, we have is here is the ordered, ordered Chech complex of uh, associated with uh, this, this finite cover. And so there is a, a slight refinement. This is why I said refinement, uh, refined CDH descent, which says that you can compute partial X by the harder change complex. This is not true for all topology uh, and it works for uh, probably the bounded topology like Zariskin, Isnevich and CDH. Uh, apparently, it does not work for etal topology. I don't know, but the proof of this isomorphism. So, using uh, the infinity categorical setting, you get a, a coherent diagram like this, and you can take the co-limit in this sense. And then you prove because you get a coherent diagram, you can you have a map from pi del partial x to this co-limit, and you just need to prove that this map is an isomorphism. And to check that, you take points on S. Uh, um, and you reduce to just a trivial case. Actually, you as you first assume that x equal s, and uh, or x sorry uh, uh, s equal partial x, and you reduce to, to to this case. Then you just need to to take points of partial x and you reduce to a trivial case. Okay, by using localization. But you, you can look at more details in in, in the paper. Then for the second point, as I said, it's it's a, it's a kind of a, of a refinement of a, of a moral value of purity. So we have something that like that we call it's it's also close to Atia uh, duality, and it, it can be stated like that. So we want to compute this x bar 
x bar minus partial x. The point is that x bar over s is smooth, but partial x is not smooth. But because it's a normal processing divisor, you can still do it. And what you get is that it's isomorphic to pi s of partial x. There's a twist by uh, minus the tangent space of x bar over s restricted to partial x. And you take the two. Okay, so actually, um, okay, I'll let you realize this formula. So a comment is that uh, what you get out of this computation, so I said pi s of partial x is, is computed by the co-limit of this diagram, which is a finite diagram, and is a huge difference with the Chech hypercover. And, and, and you can see that all these pi s partial jx, so these maps are smooth and these, these s schemes are smooth and project proper. So these pi s partial x, j of x are rigid. Now, if you take finite sums and, and uh, finite co-limits of rigid ob objects, you take, you fall into a rigid object. So that gives you an easy way uh, to prove that partial of a, of a normal crossing divisor is, uh, I mean, the homotopy of a normal crossing divisor is rigid. And what you even get is that this object is rigid and it's trial to this, this thing. So it's Atia duality or I don't know, refined purity. This, this actually, so this formula recovers uh, uh, formulas which are maybe not so explicitly stated, but which appear here and there in the theory. So this computation actually, uh, uh, as I said, uh, gives you also maybe a remark. This gives you a computation of this functor, y upper star, j lower star, also uh, y upper shriek, j lower shriek. <clears throat> and, and so you you actually by 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 this this uh, just this refined CDHG sense and, and duality you you recover the computation the computation due to Rapoport zinc of this uh, this functor here. Okay, so it's just a sketch of a proof. But... No questions. So maybe now I'll, I'll try to do a concrete computation. So that's the premiere. It's the first time I do that. But uh, <coughs> okay. So let me first start with uh, the so-called Mumford plumbing. This Mumford plumbing. So I think the expression is not from uh, Mumford, but it, it comes from the fact that in this paper I mentioned at the beginning of the talk of MIMFOR on the topology of surfaces, normal surfaces, singularities. Uh, uh, MIMFOR uses a, a lot of um, uh, tubular neighborhoods to compute. Uh, he consider compactification like we did and, and normal crossing divisors, and he used uh, uh, tubular neighborhoods to, to, to compute uh, complements and so on, the, to the topology. Uh, and so that's, that's why it's called plumbing because I, as you see tube, there's tube inside the computation. So now we can uh, uh, interpret this computation in, in motivic terms, as I said. So let's try to, to, to go back to some more concrete stuff. Now we take X over K uh, smooth surface. K is a field or Actually, if you want to be more general, you can take uh, smooth or essentially smooth, sorry, semi-local scheme uh, ring over field. And you should be able to bypass the, existence of a base field, but uh, not for the time being. <clears throat> okay, anyway, and you assume, uh, you assume X admits a compactification. 
smooth projected compactification. Okay. Such that uh, the boundary is a union of genus zero curve, union of P1. Okay. Okay, so it looks, uh, it looks uh, easy, but uh, you'll see. So in this case, if I look back to my diagram with computes uh, pi infinity of x, I will have a simpler, a simpler stuff. So I have this here, some of homotopy type of each component, function a, i, x, which are just p, uh, some p1, some projective line. Here I have just one. Uh, my 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 complex is of length uh, uh, two. I have just one of a component which is obtained by say pi of how oh, I shift the notation i j of x. So these are just uh, k points. I mean, or this is just a, a, a finite k scheme by by uh, by assumptions. <clears throat> and there's no more intersection. And here I have this map, which I call mu goes to sum of j by s, partial j of x. Uh, so there's two maps, sorry. Uh, I must not forget the, the twist, which is the important thing here. Here, partial j k of x, and I have a normal bundle of j k. So this is a line bundle, this is ramp one, because partial Sorry. j. Do yeah. you assume that no three, you don't have uh, three pole? intersections I, I mean uh, uh, partial x is is supposed to be a normal crossing divisor ah, okay normal so crossing. there's no yeah okay so that's uh, that's actually uh, among the assumption yeah and okay this normal bundle is of rank two over a field and j k so sorry i use k and k you can you can use big big k if you want <clears throat> okay. Um, okay, so let's let's go further into the computation. So first of all, what I know is that by partial a of i of x is just one 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 two because it's just the homotopy type of p1. So by definition, it's like this. So I can compute the co-limit of one uh, rather easily uh, of of this. Uh, this part of the diagram uh, rather easily. So you can see that it's split. So uh, from one for this co-limit, uh, uh, it splits as something that I, I will write dx. It's the divisorial part of the topological part of, of uh, computations. It's obtained as uh, the homotopy cofiber or co limit uh, or yeah of something which is some let me make insertion uh, uh, I mean I will assume that part of that the intersection is just one point which is a rational point just spec k okay so I want to look at this this part here. So I have a, a sum of a y strictly less than j of just a copy of one y j of k, and it goes. It will touch only this part here, which corresponds say to a zero point. So it goes to sum of i in y and i of one k. And you can check that uh, this map here is obtained by a sum y strictly less than j with some signs. 
think maybe it's minus one to the i on another so we, are, we take the projection of yj to i minus projection of yj to j star something like this oops and actually it's just the identity because i assume that the points are 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 are, are rational so it's obtained by uh, uh, this this will be a matrix with uh, some one and some minus one every, and zero overlaps so it's easy to compute and you can check that uh, uh, so these two maps here which i have transformed into a difference in this uh, because I, I in some sense i i consider the, the associated complexes uh, you can check that these two maps will not touch this uh, geometric part here. So you will also get some part which correspond to the, the class of a, of, a, of a line bundle in P1, say, or something like this. Okay. Okay, and now if you want to compute two, two as I said, uh, uh, it, it's it's dual uh, uh, of of this uh, of this partial x. But here there is something which is subtle because there is this uh, this uh, 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 normal bundle here for twisting things. So for two, the computation is more is more tricky because so there's the lemma. If you want to compute pi of partial i x or j, let's say n j, and so n j is just a rank two bundle, rank one, sorry, an invertible bundle, a line bundle on partial j x, which is assumed to be p one. Okay, so in particular, n j is just uh, is just determined by by its degree is isomorphic to O D. D is the degree of NJ. So what you can prove is that this object will split like this one, if and only if. So it splits into NJ restricted to zero direct sum term space of NJ restricted to infinity. And there is shift one, two. If and only if uh, D is even, which means that uh, your NJ is SLC orientable if you is a square. Okay. <clears throat> so okay. So but uh, uh, so you see there is a kind of uh, orientation. Uh, uh, assumptions which appear, but still we compute some non-oriented, non-SLC-oriented uh, uh, theory by by looking at this uh, homotopy type. Okay. And if D is odd, then this is just an extension. Two? No, if if there's just an extension which is not split, so you have something like Tom J N J zero, this pi and Tom N J infinity. One two, and the and extension by. is not split. So it, it means that you see you have a map here, Tom and J infinity one one, and if N J is odd, this map is zero. It is even this map is zero, and if it's if it's odd, it's non-zero for sure. Yeah, but this should be eta, right? Or something like that. Uh, exactly. Yeah, absolutely. And it corresponds to the fact that Chauvis groups of P1 twisted by, by some line bundle is not split in general. It's uh, it's uh, you have something like Chau one is W of k if is if uh, if N J is uh, odd. Yeah, but in any case, map, you, yeah. yeah, the map will be eta. Yeah, I just want to say that even in this case, you also have some kind of computation that this is absolutely, absolutely one cone of eta or something like this. Absolutely, cone of eta. Yeah, but the extension is non is not split, and it's uh, so the computation is is less uh, 
pleasure. Yeah, yeah, sure. Okay, so now if you have this splitting, which will occur, for example, uh, if you go to motives or the plus part, <coughs> uh, um, then you have a computation like this for the second part. So second part will be something like dx prime, which is the dual. So uh, which will which will be some of uh, so now I, so you see everywhere I have term spaces which appear of of some normal bundle but these normal bundles are restricted to k so they are trivial so I can find I can choose trivialization so that's what I will do just to simplify so one x prime so you have some of i of one two four and it goes to some more strictly less than j of same thing one two four that these so this is the component the, the copy which corresponds to the ith component and this one to the ith j component then you can compute the matrix the matrix the matrix here is actually the transpose of uh, of the one uh, m of the of the one which appear in, in this computation of this thing here. Okay, and so it's really dual, but there is this twist here by the tangent space of X bar, which appear. And you have also uh, another part, which is the geometric part. So J Y of one, again, I choose, uh, okay, one, two. Okay, so let me summarize now. Uh, the pi infinity of x, which were which was a surface of a k uh, with a, a smooth projective compactification whose boundary is a normal crossing divisor, and it's obtained as the homotopy fiber of a map, which is the, of the form dx, some a geometric part. And it goes to d prime x plus another geometric part. Like this. So this is a combinatorial part of a computation. It's just obtained, it's just uh, uh, encoded into the divisor. This is the dual. Okay. And so you can compute this as a matrix. In, the, in this case, there will be a map A from dx to d prime x, a map B from uh, uh, this geometric, uh, no, this, this dx to the geometric part here, a map B prime, which will be dual, which will go from this geometric part to d prime x. And here we have map mu, and mu is very interesting. So mu can be computed explicitly. Mu is the quadratic form matrix. So you see it's it's given by coefficient mu i j for i and j in square. And as I said, new ij, so it will be with my computation a map from 1, 1, 2, 2, 1, 1, 2. So it belongs to GW of k of the field here. And the formula to get this is actually so. Uh, uh, I have assumed that all my normal bundle are even, and this is important. Then in this case, I can define degree, a quadratic degree of, let's say, partial A i x intersection with partial j x. Let's put this into brackets. So this is computed in Tilde. So we have a more precise way to compute this, but 
So you see, because of my assumption, I can I can show that partial i x uh, of x bar partial i x of uh, as a, as a well defined class cycle class in char tilde one of x bar. I can take the intersection in char tilde uh, uh, of x bar, and it will give me a zero quadratic cycle on x bar, and then I can take the quadratic degree. Uh, this is well defined because I have this assumption on the on the degree of the normal bond. Otherwise, there's no formula like this. Okay. <clears throat> but uh, the nice thing is that this is exactly the same formula than the one Mubford used to 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 compute uh, the the. the, the, the the, hom the homotopy at infinity of uh, is your fast topologically. So if you have time, I have a m even more concrete computation, which uh, <coughs> which will be uh, um, is is uh, dearful for my uh, co-author. Yeah, we have time, but I would like to ask some question on the previous slide. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so am I right that I mean some of these B or B prime vanish just because of connectivity reason? No. Uh, no. In general, they will not, and, and and this is because you have you have uh, shifts in the. You, so you see, dx will be obtained like. Uh, um, so dx is sorry is the homotopy fiber of this. Okay, and and uh, okay, d uh, d prime x is the homotopy fiber. Dx is the homotopy cofiber, and it can be uh, so. In some cases, it will vanish. But in other cases, it will correspond to classes in W of K, mm -hmm. which we cannot compute at the moment, but uh, which we expect are, are non-trivial in general. So I, I'll, I'll give an example. If if the, the divisor is a, is a tree of P1, so it means there's no, it's contractible as a, as a, as a topological space. Then uh, A, B, and B prime vanish. That's one of my examples. But if it's a cycle, if A, B vanishes, vanish. But if it's a cycle, it's, it does not vanish. Oh, yeah, I see. And it's it's uh, a priori you you there is at least one component which uh, is a map from one to one twist one shift one so it lives in uh, or in the other way maybe it's in it, it vanishes probably for motifs but for homotopy it will be in h minus one minus one of k which is just w of k. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, thank you. So we really want to find a way to compute these classes, but at the moment, not. Uh, this is why uh, maybe uh, using the, the other way, using fundamental classes, maybe we can uh, get a, a hand on this coefficient A and B, but at the moment, it's not uh, very clear. OK, thank you. So could you show the example? Okay. Uh, so the example is uh, actually the one of the motivation that uh, uh, Ravin uh, uh, gave in his talk up where he mentioned the possibility of trying to define homotopy at infinity. And it's a case of Danilevsky surfaces, which I'm not a specialist of. But uh, say, so it's of course linked with the uh, Zaisky constellation problem. So these, these, these surfaces are defined as uh, by, the, by explicit equations. So they are defined like x and z minus, if I'm not wrong, uh, y, y minus one equals zero in a three of k. 
So these are affine, affine surfaces. So you can define a, a, a compactification. So there exists Tn, Tn power compactification, which are built iteratively. It, it, such that uh, so you start with a2 goes to p1 cross p1 and you blow up points you can see the first one by much one as, um, as, a, as what what uh, adrian calls an affine, an affine modification which is a, a blow up but uh, a, a fine thing uh, of this thing, and so you can mirror this this construction to get a compactification by by starting with p1 cross p1, and then you go on for the n. So what you get is that uh, you get a boundary partial n, which we can be described uh, is an NCD, which can be described like this. So I will describe a combinatorics. So you have three. So the, is an NCD. Uh, with uh, by uh, union of p1 p1 of genus zero curve and so i will describe all the component of this uh, divisor so you have three divisor initial ones f0 like this so when i drew a line it means that there's one intersect one proper intersection and they intersect in one point in one rational point so also I write the degree of each P1, so here, of each normal bundle. So it's not zero, it's minus two. Here, and you have also extra components. So you have a first family, E10, E10, N minus one, zero, like this, and another one, 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 n minus one, one, like this. So if I had to draw a picture, it would be like this. And then you have things like this and things like this. Hmm. Not sure it's very clear, but uh, OK. So you have some uh, uh, concrete uh, boundary like this, which is not so complicated. So it's a tree of P1, not a cycle, and this is what's important. The, the normal bundles here are all uh, degree minus two, except the first two one. And in this case, you can uh, explicitly compute the, the, the divisor. And what you get actually is that uh, Okay, dx is just one because you see there is, uh, uh, you can see there is at least at each time there is uh, uh, n minus one intersection, I mean m minus one intersection for m components. So when you compute the matrix that I said, that, I, that I've given, you, 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 you get only one component which corresponds to say one, one of the, component of a boundary. And similarly, by duality, this is just one. Uh, sorry, not k, not x, it's just k. Two, four. Uh, the point is that I can, I can now compute the matrix here. So uh, uh, I'm sorry to, to do this, but uh, oh, I don't know. It's not a good idea. I won't have a, a place to do this. So uh, I, I want to compute the intersection matrix. So I put F infinity. I put all the component F0. Maybe I'll do only the case N equal to F0. And I have E10, E11 here. F infinity, C infinity. You, you see that I have chosen an order to, to do the computation. E11, E10, sorry. E11, yes. So uh, here I put in the diagonal of a matrix, I put the, the self-intersection of, uh, of, uh, 
of each component, but computed quadratically. So I said f infinity is degree zero. So I have the, 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 the um, excess intersection formula. So here I have zero zero. And what's what's the, the self the, Self intersection of a, of a minus two curve of a degree minus two curve is just given by uh, um, minus the the Hermitian form, so the, the Euler class of O minus two. Uh, o minus two is just minus h. Okay, so everywhere for v over component, I, I have minus h minus h. Now, uh, as I said, I, uh, uh, each component intersects properly in one point. So in this case, there's no intersection multiplicity. There's only one. Each time I have a component which intersects in another one, I must put a one or a one into bracket to underline. So f infinity intersects a infinity, c infinity intersects f0, and f0 intersects uh, e1. So I put like this, so the matrix is uh, is a symmetric. Can you say again why it is one here? Because uh, the intersection is proper. Yeah. And and there's no multiplicity. So it's just uh, the intersection is just a point without multiplicity and a rational point. Uh, so this gives you one. I mean. Yeah. I can easily see that it gives you something of rank one, but. It's one. It's There's one. no okay. subtlety. There would be subtleties if, if the intersection was not a rational point, but something like a quadratic extension. Then there will be the trace of a quadratic extension, for example, I think. So that's, that's the computation we, we get. So we... <clears throat> OK, so in this case, it's easy. Now E10 does not intersect E11. So here I must put zero, zero, but F zero intersect also E one one from my diagram. So I have one here, zero, one here, and everywhere it's zero, zero. Yeah, one of the zeros should be one. I mean, e, F, F zero and E one zero. This one. Uh, no, 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 ah, okay. no, 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 not this one, but to the here maybe uh, probably uh, yeah in, in the third line and the one plus one one oh no so e one one does not intersect e one zero so this is no, no it's okay I mean e one zero yeah this one this is he, like, what's it well, why is it not symmetric okay uh, so to finish the computation the funny thing so this this is a matrix in uh, with question in GW of, of uh, say Z, just to <coughs> five, five matrix. But you can, uh, uh, what you can do to compute these kinds of things, so you can use this uh, normal form of matrix. So it means that you can always multiply the matrix by invertible matrix on the left and on the right. And then the Smith form Smith form of this matrix, if you compute, so Adrian did the computation. So it's just like this one, 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 and two H here. Identity. And so uh, uh, in, in for DN, so now I can write the, and so in particular, you see, so we want to compute the, the, the homotopy fiber of a map defined by this matrix, which is mu. And we just need to consider the homotopy fiber of this map. So the final theorem is that if for the pi infinity of a k of dn, so you'll have this topological part, 1k plus 1k, 2, 3. And as I said before, uh, in this case, a and b and b prime are 0. And you have the remaining part, which correspond to mu. And the homotopy fiber of mu is just uh, uh, so the cone suspend homotopy fiber of this map. So it's n h in general seen as a map from a one one two okay. So you have this cone of uh, there is only one component which which remains. 
as you see, you can put high density here, so it will disappear when you consider the homotopy fiber. And the only thing which remains is the homotopy fiber or the cone of NH. So that's it, a explicit computation for once in my life, with some help. <laughs>